Friends, we're going to be doing a cost of living estimator today. To use this, it comes up with this page when you click on the link. In here, you're going to type in a city. Say you want to live in San Francisco. As Once you start typing it out, it comes up with the choices. We want to live in San Francisco, California. So we click that. We're going to keep the currency in US dollars. For the first one, we are going to change the member of your households to one just you this is before you're married before you have kids before any of that stuff's happening we're going to assume it's just you for right now so eating lunch or dinner in restaurants how often do you want to do that is it like once a week twice a week um that determines what the percentage is you put there if you eat once a week in a restaurant that is about 10 to 15 percent of the time so I'm going to change that to 15% because 15% is once a week. When eating in restaurants, are you choosing inexpensive restaurants? So like, are you going to Taco Bell? Are you going to McDonald's? Are you going to places where it's like five or six bucks a meal? Or are you going to places that are more expensive? So choose that. Do you drink coffee outside your home? Then if you go to Starbucks or any of your coffee or Dutch Brothers or any place a lot, Choose that. Like a lot would be once or twice a day. High would be like once a day. Moderate, a couple times a week. Low, once a week. No would be you just don't drink coffee outside your house. Going out. So cinema, nightlife, other things you want to do. Do you want to do once per week, twice per week, three times per month, or twice per month? So again, this is like going out to a movie or going to hang out with friends and spending money at a night. So choose whichever one you want to do. Remember, this is for your future. This isn't now. This is when you are an adult and you're working career. How often would you like to go out and do these things? For me, I'm probably going to be very low to go to the cinema and go do nightlife these days. Smoking, don't do that. Alcoholic beverages, do you, are you going to do that? At home, we're eating what type of food, Western or Asian? Driving car, um, moderate for most people, taking taxi. Uh, if you if you plan on doing Uber all the time, paying for public transportation, I won't be doing that. Sports memberships, that could be a gym membership, vacation and travel. Um, So are you going to do one per year where it's relatively inexpensive? So a few hundred bucks to go and like all you, you drive there, you stay in a hotel and it doesn't cost that much. Or you go into a relatively expensive where you're going to spend five or ten grand once a year. So I'm going to say I am twice per year relatively inexpensive right now. Buying clothes and shoes, I'm pretty low on that. Uh, so an apartment is, are you renting an apartment? Are you sharing a room in an apartment so do you have roommates and a mortgage is like you own that place in your pain you know you have a mortgage on it a mortgage is a home loan to where you're kind of like a car loan you're paying it back so mortgage one bedroom apartment that's probably all you need when you're single and by yourself you have zero children and then you click the submit to recalculate button what happens is it comes up underneath here now with a bunch of information. It tells you how much is it going to cost you in restaurants a month. Um, how much is it going to cost you going out? How much, if you cigarettes, how much is food at home going to be? How much is drinks at home going to be? How much is car and gasoline? Uh, public transport and taxi. It's nothing for me because I chose that. So leisure and sports clubs uh, and vacation and travel utilities that's like electricity your internet all that stuff which that's actually pretty low but we'll go with it clothing and shoes how much are you spending on that rent in san francisco for a one bedroom apartment child care other goods and services so overall estimate monthly spending i need that much money if i at least that much money if i want to live in san francisco and I want to live the lifestyle that I chose up here. 
this changes based on what city you live in, what where in the U.S. you live. You, it can choose someplace outside of the U.S. If you want to live in a different country, they have different countries on here. So it, it all changes based on how you choose up here. If I say I want to eat out 100% of the time and I submit to recalculate, that changes my, my bottom line. It changes it by, it was like 4,300, now it's almost 6,000 to live there because I'm eating out every single time. And if we look at the restaurants, it went up to $1,800 a month. So depending on what options you choose, these numbers will change. You will be recording these numbers in our Go Formative. So just once you have these and you have your city, get ready to record them in Go Formative.